Hi guys, it's me Ria and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm again back with a product comparison video. So in this type of series, what I generally do is I, uh, you know, compare two similar products of two different brands. So the first video in this category was where I tested three different uh, gummies, like, you know, hair gummies from three different brands. And the second video in this series uh, was where I compared the Smashbox Kajal with the MAC Cole Kajal. So if you have not seen both of these videos, I will be linking it in the description box below. So in the same series, I'm back with the third video. So in today's product comparison video, I'm going to be comparing two similar products from the brands Blue Nectar and Forest Essentials. So both of these brands have a unique niche and all of their products are based on authentic Ayurvedic formulations. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to try uh, similar products from both of these brands. So for today's video, I have two products to compare. So the first comparison will be between the Blue Nectar's Kumkumadi Night Cream and the Forest Essentials Kumkumadi Night Cream. And the second comparison will be between the Blue Nectar's Kumkumadi Serum and the Forest Essentials Saundarya Face Serum. So I've tested these products for three weeks now and uh, you know what I tried to do this time is I used both the products simultaneously on each side of my face. So the Blue Nectar products I have used on the right side of my face and the Forest Essentials products I've used on the left side of my face. Okay, so I have used them for three weeks till now and you know I will show you the before and after comparison and along with that we'll also go through the packaging, the ingredients and later on I will you know share my thoughts on which product I feel or which brand I feel is a much more better brand according to me okay so let's begin so first let's compare the forest essentials kumkumadi night cream as well as the blue nectar kumkumadi night repair cream okay now the reason why I chose both of these products are because both of them claim uh, to have kumkumadi oil in them and both of them are night creams okay so that is the reason I particularly chose both of these products so first let us see the ingredients that both of them have. So when it comes to the ingredients list between these both products, there are a few common ingredients which you can see uh, I have mentioned on the top part. Okay, and then there are a few different ones which I've also highlighted here. Okay, so now on the first look, you can clearly see that the Forest Essentials uh, cream has already mentioned the percentage of the ingredients. And uh, when it comes to the Blue Nectar cream, they have also mentioned the quantity of each and every ingredient, but it is mentioned in ml grams and milligrams on the outer carton of the product. However, when it comes to the actual list of ingredients, I feel the Blue Nectar one have better ingredients and herbs as there were two ingredients in the Forest Essentials list like the saffron and sandalwood, which is already part of the Kumkumadi oil preparation, you know. So ideally, when it comes to the actual ingredients list, I feel that the Blue Nectar one uh, definitely has an upper hand because all of the uh, additional ingredients that they have included in this particular cream also serves different purposes as well okay so i personally feel that the blue nectar one has a much more potent formula when you go to see from the perspective of you know authentic ayurvedic formulation Now moving on to the packaging itself, so the Blue Nectar's Shubra Kumkumadi Night Repair Cream comes in this kind of an acrylic jar, uh, so it looks like this, okay, and when it comes uh, to the Forest Essentials Kumkumadi Night Cream, it comes in this kind of a glass jar, okay, so it definitely has a lot more weight uh, than the Blue Nectar one, uh, so you know when it comes to the packaging, it totally depends on you whether you uh, you know prefer the glass jar or the acrylic jar, Personally, for me, since I am a very, very clumsy person and I often tend to drop things, I would, you know, any day prefer this kind of an acrylic jar because this requires a little bit of maintenance and it is also not, uh, you know, travel friendly, okay, because it can easily break or if you're not careful enough and if you tend to drop it, this definitely can break. So the Forest Essentials one, which has a glass jar, is something that I wouldn't uh, really prefer. So when it comes to the packaging, I definitely do feel that the Blue Nectar one, again, uh, you know, is something that I would prefer. Now coming on to the price point, both of these products have a huge margin uh, when it comes to price point, okay. So the Forest Essentials uh, Kumkumadi Night Cream retails for Rs. 2425 
and you get about 30 grams of product in here whereas the blue nectar kumkumadi night cream retails for rupees 1095 and you get about 50 grams of product in here okay so then uh, you know you can do the maths yourself like which one do you feel is a much more uh, you know value for money product personally for me again um because the quantity is less in this one i definitely do feel that in terms of the price and the quantity of the product again the blue nectar one definitely gives you a much more better value for money and now coming on to the texture and the fragrance okay so both of these creams have uh, the same kind of like smooth and soft very nice buttery texture and both of these creams get easily absorbed into your skin however when it comes to the forest essentials uh, night cream this one does have a very very strong um, you know perfumey kind of a fragrance so it can be bothersome for people who have sensitive nose or someone who does not like you know fragrance in their products so that is why i do not prefer um you know products that have extremely strong fragrances because i also get headaches okay with that however when it comes to this particular blue nectar's kumkumadi night cream it has a very very mild fragrance that vanishes uh, within just a few minutes of application so personally when it comes to the texture and the fragrance uh texture both of them are similar but when it comes to fragrance again because i do not prefer very heavily scented uh, skincare products that is why again i will be choosing uh, the blue nectar kumkumadi night cream only okay guys so now finally coming on to my actual experience of using these products okay so like i've already mentioned before the blue nectar's uh, kumkumadi night cream i was using on the right side of my face and the forest essentials one i've used on the left side of my face okay so for the initial five to six days of application of both of these creams uh, i did not see any you know visible results as such to be honest uh, however i would like to mention that the blue nectar one which is the right side of my face definitely felt a lot more smoother than the left side okay uh, however on the 11th and the 12th day uh, when i actually took the picture again i definitely saw that my right side of the face where i had applied the blue nectar kumkumadi night cream definitely felt um, a little brighter now why i am saying this is because when i took the picture there were a few spots uh, that i had before i started this experiment okay and that on the 11th and the 12th day when i took the picture definitely felt a lot more lighter however when it uh, comes to the left side of my face where i was using the forest essentials night cream like you can see in this picture also i did not notice any like you know visible difference as such so personally for me when it comes to uh you know the performance of both of these creams i definitely do feel that i would like to test out the blue nectar kumkumadi night cream more because if in just you know 11 to 12 days if it can uh, you know help to lighten uh, my marks i would definitely want to try it out more to see the kind of effect that it gives me after using it for one or two months so again when it comes to my actual experience of using these products i definitely do feel that the blue nectar one uh, did a better job than the forest essentials night cream so now moving on to the next set of products for comparison so here we have the forest essentials sonderia advanced age defying serum with 24 karat gold and then we have the blue nectar's kumkumadi telam okay now both of these serums are not exactly similar to be honest but they do have a few common ingredients so that is why i wanted to test them out so when it comes to the ingredients list between both of these products there are a few common ingredients which you can clearly see here and then there are a few different ones which i've also highlighted here so now coming on to the ingredients list the forest essential sonderia serum has a very simple formulation with the highlight being 24 karat gold and they have kept that as the main ingredient however when you actually see the detailed ingredients list the almond oil is mentioned as 30 percent which means that the majority of the oil is nothing but almond oil so ideally instead of marketing it as a 24 karat gold serum i personally feel that it would have made much more sense uh you know had forest essentials marketed it as an almond oil serum you know basically so now coming on to the blue nectar's kumkumadi serum it is made up of 26 different herbs and they have also mentioned the uses of each one of them on their website so you can exactly know which ingredient works for what purpose 
so obviously when it comes to that authentic ayurvedic formulation i have to say this but you know again the blue nectar wins for me because of the 26 different ingredients that they have used so you know basically when it comes to actual ayurvedic formulations you know i personally would want those formulations to have a lot of herbs and oils which are you know are a part of the ayurvedic formulations so that is why again in terms of uh, you know when i go to compare uh, two different ayurvedic formulations definitely the blue nectar one has much more better ingredients list Now moving on to the packaging both of these serums by Forest Essentials and Blue Nectar have similar dark glass bottle packaging with a dropper so i think both of them are pretty similar Next coming on to the price point uh, so again there is a huge difference uh, between the prices of both of these products so the forest essentials a sandarya face serum retails for rupees 2225 and on the other hand the blue nectar's kumkumadi telam retails for rupees 995 and you get about 10 ml of product in here so like i've already previously mentioned i feel that you know forest essentials as a brand and the products are a luxury buy basically okay so they have carved that niche for them wherein they are targeting people uh, you know who prefer luxury purchases basically uh, but when it comes to the actual formulations and when it comes to the value for money somewhere forest essentials is definitely lacking because i personally feel that their products are way too overpriced and do not give me the kind of value for money that i'm looking out for okay so the forest essentials on the rear serum definitely has a bit more thicker consistency uh, than the blue nectar one and i personally feel that is because of the uh, you know higher percentage of almond oil in it because almond oil in its own also has a thicker consistency okay so when it comes to the texture wise this one has a the forest essential one has a much more thicker consistency than the blue nectar one and that is why you know when i apply this on my skin it definitely takes a lot more time to get absorbed onto my skin and also this one leaves a kind of like a oily film on my skin okay uh, however the blue nectar's kumkumadi serum it does not leave any sort of oily film on my skin in fact it just instantly gets absorbed into my skin okay guys so now coming on to my actual experience of using these products okay so i used the blue nectar's kumkumadi serum on the right side of my face again and uh, the forest essentials on the rear serum on the left side of my face so in the initial week itself on the fourth or the fifth day i'm not sure uh, exactly which day it was but i did notice a huge pimple on my forehead uh, right here uh, on the side where i was applying the forest essentials uh, sandarya serum okay now my skin type is such that it's extremely dry and sensitive so i do not get pimples okay until and unless you know i have my periods to come otherwise i won't get any pimples but when i was testing these products out i you know my periods had already gotten over okay so there was no a chance for the pimple to pop up because of my hormones okay is basically what i'm trying to tell you guys however i still uh, you know wanted to take my chance so i continued using uh, this uh, serum however again on the 11th day i again got a pimple right on my cheek okay so that is when i had to stop using uh, the sandarya serum because if i get pimples it often leaves marks as well and i did not want to take any more chances with that okay so personally what i feel is the almond oil the higher percentage of almond oil was feeling a little bit thicker for my you know dry and sensitive skin type and almond oil generally has a tendency okay it may or may not suit every skin type okay i personally on my skin type definitely it gave me two huge pimples so i had to stop using uh, the forest essentials on the rear serum uh, but when it comes to the blue nectar's kumkumadi telam i did not have any such difficulty because uh, first because it's a very lightweight oil that gets instantly absorbed into your skin so it did not feel heavy on my skin at all um now when it comes to the actual performance i like i mentioned before i did not see any drastic difference as such uh apart from the smooth feeling that it gave me but uh, then again you know 15 days is a small time uh, for any ayurvedic product to 
actually show results you know when it comes to authentic ayurvedic products you definitely have to use a little longer to see good results because these kind of products you know work deeply from your skin it does not give you that superficial uh, glow or anything it works deeply from your skin so definitely because this did not give me any sort of pimple and anything of that sort so i would definitely would want to try this one uh, further more to see the kind of results it gives me after one or two months so personally i definitely do feel that blue nectar as a brand uh, has much more better formulations uh, when it comes to them claiming as you know authentic ayurvedic formulations okay and also i feel that their products give you that value for money okay now having said that i would also like to talk about two more products from blue nectar which i have already been using uh, since a long time and which i thought that because i was already talking about these products i thought to you know mention about them also in this video so the next product is the blue nectar's kumkumadi face scrub which contains saffron almonds turmeric infused with kumkumadi and it has a very creamy non gritty texture which very gently exfoliates your skin and makes it much more brighter so i love using this scrub twice in a week as it helps me to get soft and clear skin and the next product is the blue nectar's kumkumadi skin glow body oil that is enriched with the vital goodness of nine herbs and it is also useful for improving the appearance of stretch marks caused by pregnancy and also in improving the scars uneven skin tone and cracked heels it helps in moisturizing nourishing and protecting the skin without leaving any oily trace and it also contains herbs like kumkumadi almond oil and others that are rich in vitamins a c and e that helps to give your dull skin a young and glowing look so this again is a beautiful body oil that i really love using so yeah that's it for today's video guys i have given the direct links of all of these products in the description box below in case if you want to you know check them out try them out you can do so by clicking the links in the description box so yeah that's it for today's video guys i hope you did find this video useful and helpful if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already and i shall see you all in my next video until then bye bye